The process of creating a new makeup and hair design uh, follows sort of several key stages. About 18 months before we go on the stage, we would have an initial meeting with the designer. At that point, we would see initial designs and discuss um, really their vision for the show. And we would then have fittings to have the wigs made. Once they have returned, this is when the creative process happens with our team and we would dress the wigs according to the designs that we have. And then actually sort of quite near to the production, we would then start meeting the artists and we would be doing uh, hairstyle fittings and makeup fittings and makeup trials. And this, at this point, we would then be discussing how things are working and how if the designer is happy. And then there's still room because then when we go on to stage, we can actually look at it as a whole. And then it's when the sort of final decisions are made and any tweaks can happen. Well, when we would look at a brief, we would be looking at the storyline, obviously the period that it's been set in. We would be taking into consideration what the designer's um, vision is. So it's, it's according to taste, really, and also according to what the production requires. The majority of the wigs are made by real hair. We use a lot of Asian hair because Asian hair can be very, very much longer than typical European hair. Um, but European hair tends to be much more expensive and the most expensive hair is um, natural blonde hair or natural white hair. We also use quite a lot of yak hair. Tail yak is quite, um, quite coarse and that can be used for period wigs. I think my favourite production that I worked on was uh, a production of Parsifal and the character was Kundri and Kundri just went through many, many transformations. The design was she was bald and she was very dirty and dishevelled and broken down and then throughout the production she changes and then she becomes very glamorous and she had this huge uh, fabulous like red wig but it's all quite dreadlocked. And then again, she develops into another character where she's much older and so she's got like a grey wig and she's much less makeup. And all of those were quick changes and it was just a production that was lovely to work on. I think my advice to uh, individuals that are interested in hair and makeup is do your research, watch films, watch theatre and look at history books and paintings as well. Paintings can be very inspirational and give you a lot of guidance on sort of period looks and um, on how sort of styles have developed. I think always my tip has been that when you go to work, go in, enjoy your work, you're learning every single day. It's a fantastic opportunity, it's a fantastic living. If that sort of can inspire people just to understand that it's a really lovely, wonderful career. <laughs>